Welcome to the Principles and Practice Q&A Review. Question 15. A lot of times you are going to be asked certain questions about datums, control elevations, even how to establish control in the first place. So this question lands squarely in the geodetic or control survey section of the exam. And in fact, this question was built because of a current dispute that I am serving as an expert witness in. There are certain things that you just can't learn on the job as effectively as going through a college course. And I think geodesy is one of those because it's really more theoretical than anything. But there come certain times when the theoretical knowledge learned, conceptual knowledge learned, really benefits you in terms of a practicing surveyor. As a quality control analyst at a summer job, I was tasked with solving just this type of problem. And during this time uh, in Atlanta, I was reviewing all of the subcontractor's work. And long story short, a subcontractor used the wrong state plane coordinate system for a group of GPS surveys, and they couldn't figure out why their data was incorrect. Well, lucky enough, I'd just taken that class the semester before. I checked his datum in the settings and fixed his issue, which he had been fighting with for two months. I fixed it in about 20 minutes. But enough with old war stories. Let's look at the call of the question. After several years conducting mortgage inspection surveys for a local title company, your survey business has finally earned the trust of that title company enough where the title company has awarded you a job to create flood certificates. But the question here is, what datum should be used during the creation of these flood certificates? Our four answer choices are USGS, NAVD, NGVD, and NAD. Which of these four datums should be used as the vertical datum for your survey? Why waste valuable time memorizing equations and working out all of those long mathematical questions? Purchase a pre-programmed HP 35 from NLC that works the problems for you in seconds and frees up more time to work on the rest of your exam. Programs include COGO, triangles, horizontal and vertical curves, and many more. There are two types of datums. Horizontal datums, which measure different positions on the Earth. Think latitude, longitude. And then there are vertical datums. And the vertical datum measures a height or an elevation above a certain point. Now, that could be height above mean sea level, height above the center of the Earth, height above Mount Everest, whatever you'd like to use but make sure you appreciate the difference between horizontal and vertical datums. We've got a couple of different versions of vertical and horizontal datums. The first we'll talk about are horizontal, and those are NAD 27 and NAD 83. So the North American datum of 27 and the North American datum of 83. But here, we are not so concerned about horizontal, but vertical datums. The two most prevalent datums in this country are NGVD 29, the National Geodetic Vertical Datum of 29, and NAVD 88, the North American Vertical Datum of 1988. 29 datum is a fantastic datum, but it is very outdated, and studies have shown that this datum does not represent sea level or flood level very well at all because it uses a calculated geoid. On the other hand, our 88 datum uses a measured orthometric height based on the geoid, and it also includes many, many, many new measurements. So in sum, the newest datum, NAVD 88, is the newest and best datum to use, and therefore, this guy should probably be the one used on your flood certificate. In fact, many 
state boards require you to use this one on your flood certificate. You may ask yourself, why? Why do I have to use 88 as opposed to 29? Well, during the creation of this datum, the federal government used five times as many benchmark elevations to compute this datum. The NGS used 10 times over 1 million kilometers of differential level nets to make this datum. And the datum also includes other kind of systematic errors, which were taken out of the measurements before it was computed. In some parts of the country, you will see very little difference between the two datums. Look at the blue color on the East Coast. Pretty much no changes centimeter-wise. But on the very East Coast, in the Midwest, and especially in the western part of our country, the differences between 88 and 29 are huge, over 50 to 220 centimeters in difference comparing the two datums. So the final answer is B, NAVD 88. And if you memorize that, you will not only have a better chance of passing the FS exam, but you will also have a better chance at staying out of trouble as a professional surveyor. Because I can tell you, I've testified in several cases over the years where the surveyor used the wrong datum, he caused harm to his clients, and he was sued because of that mistake. So keep your noses clean, and use the right datum. Would you like even more great content on the Principles and Practice exam? Please join me at nlcprep ps for a full-length, completely up-to-date PS prep course where we go over every major PS topic in gory detail and we teach you all the essentials you need to know to pass the PS exam on the first try. Join me at nlcprep.com slash ps.